Hi children. Today we will be doing the topic of elevator physics from the chapter Laws of Motion. Today we will be learning of how we feel when we are in a lift or an elevator. The topic is apparent weight in a lift or it is also called an elevator. Now before we go into the topic, let us see what is this actual weight and apparent weight. Actual weight, we all know that what it is, isn't it children? It is the weight due to the action of force of gravity alone. That means what weight we feel in our body. That is mass into gravity. Mass and gravity, the product of mass and gravity. Now, what is apparent weight? Apparent weight is actually the normal force from the scale or what is um, the force experienced on the body from the flow. Now, it is a weight due to the action of force of gravity and other external forces on the mass M. Now, let's see an example of a man having mass M standing on a weighing machine in an elevator. Here, the man has a mass M and is standing on the weighing scale in an elevator. Now, the actual weight of the man will be Mg, which is acting vertically downwards. The weighing, it will be acting vertically downwards and the weight will be mg this will offer a reaction force r which is displayed on the weighing machine whatever weight is displayed here we have the reaction force that is r which is displayed on the weighing machine uh, so the apparent weight of the man is r when the elevator is at rest or moving at constant velocity R is equal to mg. This is if the elevator is at rest or moving at constant velocity. When the elevator has an upward acceleration, R will be equal to mg plus ma. Whereas when the elevator has a downward acceleration, R is equal to mg minus ma. So children, let's see all these in detail. Now, let's see what happens to a weight when we move upwards with an acceleration in an elevator. When the lift moves upwards with acceleration A, the net upward force on the man is R minus Mg is equal to Ma. Therefore, the apparent weight will be R is equal to Mg plus Ma. Now, when the lift moves downwards with acceleration A, the net downward force on the man will be mg minus r is equal to ma. That is, the apparent weight is equal to r is equal to mg minus ma. Take r onto the right side and ma comes over here to the left of equal to. We get r is equal to mg minus ma. Now let's see what we feel when we are in the lift and the lift is at rest or moving with uniform velocity upward or downward. When it is moving with a uniform velocity or if the lift is at rest, the acceleration is always zero. So the net force on the man is also zero. Therefore, the apparent weight will be equal to the actual weight. That means R will be equal to mg. Now let's see when the cable breaks and the lift just hurtles down. When this happens, the person inside the elevator experiences a free fall. And when a free fall happens, the body is entirely under the influence of the gravitation. So when the lift falls freely, the body weighs zero on the weighing machine, but its actual weight is still mg. 
and the downward acceleration of the man in the lift will be a is equal to g that means the acceleration is equal to the gravity so r is equal to mg minus ma that is mg minus ma will become mg minus mg since we have a is equal to g so r will be zero therefore the apparent weight is zero when the lift falls freely